So that might have potential down the road for cardiac rehab or individuals with cardiovascular disease or even subsets of that, like type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome. So that's an area to, to stay tuned for as well. It's emerging. Um, and um, same with type 2 diabetes. There's potential there as well, uh, potentially improving glu- glucose disposal. Again, if there's more muscle activation, you have more GLUT4 doorways, maybe more glucose gets in. So the Brazilian group is leading the way there. So it's gone from just athletes to now looking at the health aspects for a lot of different uh, conditions. And interesting chronic disease has is, is come to the forefront, which is very exciting. Yeah. I, I've also come across some other like cardiometabolic health benefits Mm -hmm. so glucose but also triglycerides Mm -hmm. and with cholesterol in there too can you talk about that is that maybe some mixed data i'm not sure if 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 everything is it's showing the same totally mixed um some show decrease in triglycerides uh, ldl um um, and then others don't see the effect and again i think it comes back when you look at those studies with the population if they're compromised as we get older, there's probably going to be more of an effect. And then the question is, was a dietary change that did it or was it the creatine itself? So that's one of the big issues when we give a creatine supplement. If you don't consider what they're already consuming or now they've initiated exercise compared to a true placebo, um, so there is potential. The mechanism seem to be from a, a triglyceride perspective. It seems to increase energy expenditure, some thermogenic potentially effect that might explain why uh, creatine decreases body fat in, in uh, individuals 18 and above. Uh, but from the cholesterol perspective, we don't really know the mechanism there. Um, and that's an area I'm sure that'll be exploding down the road. Yeah. So creatine decreases body fat mm-hmm. in combination with resistance training Correct. compared to resistance training alone. Correct. Yeah. Now, small, about 1% or about 0.5 kilograms. Uh, there's some potential mechanisms there, but the thought is maybe increase in lean tissue mass, increase energy expenditure. So a lot of people are very cautious. They don't want to take creatine because they think it's going to increase fat mass. What the research is suggesting is increasing lean body mass, potentially decreasing fat mass. So usually the number on the scale barely changes after you do an intervention. Yeah. Well, going going back to this loading phase mm. and this higher dose, I mean, when I say higher, I mean 20 grams. Correct. Um, all these studies doing that, I mean, barring the brain stuff, mm-hmm. is it is it really just to like kind of get their stores saturated quickly because the study is you're not going to wait 30 days. Right. Yeah. So it's really, you know, all these other people trying to do this loading stuff, mm-hmm. just kind of following the studies, but really they don't have to do that unless they like tomorrow when I hit the gym right. and have that right. explosive yeah. power benefit. Or- yeah, if- 